I don't think any father envisions their daughter to grow up to be a boxer. She hits harder than most men. 50% of the people don't want to see a girl get hit. I am on a mission and I have a dream. I want to be the best female fighter that ever was. And now making her way to the cage, Holly, the preacher's daughter. A women's pro boxing champion now transitioning into mixed martial arts. Yes. Oh, it is all over. Yes. And the sound echo. There hasn't been any fighter that has been at the top in both. There's been a whole lot of male champions that we've all loved. Where's well, something different? You have to have a skill and you have to have a wheel, but the wheel has to be stronger than the skill. I never wanted to hurt somebody to where it was lasting after the fight. You know, we all have families to go home to. She told me that her kids were here, and I, I just felt kind of bad. My coach told me sometimes I have too much heart. He put so much into it, and that's why I just hate to lose. It's like I made an apple pie, and I put way too much butter in the crust. You know how much work that was? And I just had to throw the thing away. You know, totally a different, but still. There's nowhere that it's written that in order to be a good mom, you have to watch your daughter fight. You want to you knock your opponent out. That is the goal. It's a brutal sport. When she went down and I went up in the ring and saw her there, that was my little girl. You know, they're talking about concussions with uh, football players. Nobody ever mentions professional fighters. My coach and I had a talk before I even had the press conference and I got knocked out. He's like, they're going to ask you if you want a rematch. He's like, tell him, hell yeah, Muhammad Ali's been knocked out and he came back. Why not me? Holly Holm is a couple of days away from hopefully avenging her knockout loss. Going into the rematch, and Sophie hadn't lost in 17 years and had more than three quarters of her fights win by knockout. I had to really believe in myself. Otherwise, I would have lost this, the rematch, but I didn't. Your winner by you. I hope this inspires other people to want to maybe face some kind of maybe fear they have. I want to wear a skirt. I was watching Serena Williams, and I saw the tennis outfits. And I'm like, well, if they can play tennis in those, I can box in them. I'm girl girly, but I can fight. We've been invited several times to fight at the Playboy Mansion. Are they in a bikini and, and you know, a little bit of mud on the floor and then boxing then? That's a bit of a joke. People wanted to sell the sex appeal, as, as some people have done. And Holly turned all that down. That's not her. We're going to talk to Holly Holm after this. Hang on. we got Holly Holm in studio right now. So, hey, this is it for you, boxing-wise, huh? This is it. Explain, um, explain that. I'm done boxing. It's kind of been on my heart since then. When you're the best fighter in the world and you're actually facing retirement saying, this is my last fight in 48 hours, it's a hard thing to do. You always remember the end of the round. The judges remember the end of the round, so people will remember the end of her career, so having a loss in this one would, would be terrible. Mary knows what's at stake for her. I mean, she can become the pound-for-pound -pound best fighter in the world if she wins tonight. This is huge for her. 